Welcome back again to another uh, Super 73Z mod. I guess this would be the third installment. It's not really a series or anything, but it's kind of turning out to be that way. Uh, if you guys saw my other videos, I did a hydraulic brake upgrade on it, and I did a dual battery upgrade on it. So today what we're going to do is be doing a speed hack, which is inside the controller here. I'm going to show you guys how to take that apart and what to do to accomplish that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take it out on the street and do a little speed run. I'm going to GPS the speed and show you guys what we get with the battery at whatever level charge it's at now before the speed hack and then we'll do a video of it after the speed hack. Now I've seen pictures and I've seen a lot of people say that yeah I get this speed, I get that speed anywhere between 24 and 27 miles an hour. You know and, and some of that can vary because of the size of the rider or how full their battery is charged when they do the, the hack and then take the bike out for a ride. But I've never seen a video on how to do this, and I've never seen a GPS speed calculation before and after. So that's what we're going to accomplish today along with showing you guys, like I said, how to do this. So let's take the bike out on the street and get a GPS run on the uh, stock setup before we go ahead and do the speed hack. So let's head outside. Okay, so we're outside. Uh, this is the stock setup, no speed hack yet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two runs, just kind of get a, a baseline average, I guess, if you will. And this will be from a dead stop, no pedaling, till we reach max speed. Here we go. Okay, so that was two runs and it was uh, 20 miles an hour both times, which is to be expected because that's what the speed limit is set on it. On the battery indicator here, the battery is full. So let's go inside and open this controller up and do the speed hack and see where we get for speed. Okay guys, we're back in the shop and we're going to go ahead and start tearing into this bike and get to the controller and I'm going to show you which wire you cut for the speed hack. All you're going to need for this is a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and if you do have fenders on there, a shorty Phillips screwdriver, a pair of wire cutters, and if you don't have any wire cutters, a razor blade of some sort, and a couple of zip ties. So let's go ahead and get started on taking it apart. Under here there's two Phillips screws, and under here there's two Phillips screws. Make sure you keep all the hardware together, and on the top here between the frame and the seat there are some little white washers, so keep a hold of those. And then once you do that, you just go ahead and pull the seat off. And we're going to cut the zip ties to all our wiring here so we can get that seat out of there. So we take our wire cutters or our razor blade and we go ahead and start cutting some zip ties. A couple zip ties here. And a couple up here. Now once we got our zip ties removed, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the motor and disconnect the throttle cable. We're going to go ahead and lift this out. Make sure as you bring it up, you twist it towards you to get the, this side out first. That way you don't do any damage to this motor wire down here. Got to make sure your battery is just connected first if you have the battery mod. Ha! Huh. Just like so. Get your cables through. Okay, there we go. And just like last time. We're going to remove these seven screws down here, these Phillips screws, to go ahead and separate the seat from the case. Okay, once you guys got those seven screws removed, there's four more on the bottom here that you're going to remove. So go ahead and remove those, and then we'll flip this over and get that controller out of there and take it apart.
And these screws are what hold your controller inside this box or this case. Okay, now that those are removed, just go ahead and flip this over. And remove the seat. So here's our controller box here, guys. This is what we need to weasel out of here. And you gotta be careful because there's a lot of wires and stuff in here. So just use caution as you take this out of there. The charging port's over here and the on and off switch is over here. So you wanna be careful when you pull this out, okay? Now that we got that out, we're gonna remove these six screws here and then we can get to the controller which is in here I like to make three little piles of where I keep my screws so that way I don't mix them together okay once those are out we can get to our controller and you just got to slide this down these wires a little bit you're not going to get a lot of room. So after you get that slid apart, this is the actual controller here. And you can see it's for 36 volts. It has all your information here. And there's four more screws to take apart. So let's go ahead and get those apart. Then we go ahead and slide this open. And there is the inside of the controller. So let's take a closer look and I will show you which wire you guys will be cutting. So if you look right inside your controller guys, there's two clusters of wires. There's a short one, a long one, and another short one. I guess there, there's three, sorry about that. And on this middle one, there's a white wire here. And that is the wire that you're gonna cut for this speed hack. So let's go ahead and get in there and cut it. And I'm gonna try, just in case, I'm gonna try to cut it up a little ways and leave some wire hanging off of it, just in case this doesn't work. And I gotta do redo it. So there's that wire, you can see I cut it there. So now it's time to put everything back together. This can be a little tricky. You gotta line those up and hold that controller against that side over there to get these screws in. But once you get one going, then it, then it gets a lot easier. There we go. And leave that one loose, that way you can kind of push it around a little bit and still hold it up to where you can get the other screws in. It's time to wiggle it back into here and like I said earlier, be careful of all the electronics on this side. And make sure you don't have any wires trapped under it or anything and then let's go ahead and bolt this back together. Keep your hand here as you flip it over, hold that in place, line your holes up here by moving that around just a little bit and start inserting your screws. Okay, now once that's together, we go ahead and mount it back on the seat and install those seven screws. Okay, now that all this is back together, let's go put it back on the bike. Okay, and just like before, we wanna put the motor wire down through first, kinda of get this side to lay in there and then push the other side in. Also tuck your controller wire or your throttle wire down through there. Check your motor wires in the right spot. There it goes. And then what I like to do is I like to hook my cables back up first before I screw the seat down. That way if I have to move anything around, it's real easy to do. And look for, uh, just line these up. There's only one way they go together. And on the controller, there is arrows, or excuse me, the throttle. I keep saying controller, these don't have a have a display or a controller up here. 
uh, on the throttle one, just make sure that there's one arrow on each side, line the arrows up and push it together. That goes together, just kind of twist it around back and forth till it pops together. And just snug it up. Now go ahead and reattach this. Like I said, find the arrows. There's one arrow, two arrows. Just push it together. It'll go together real easy. There we go. Now we'll get some zip ties and tighten all the cables back up and we will be ready for a road test. Now just install the two screws here, two screws here, and let's go for a ride. Okay, so here we are back outside with the speed hack done, and we will do the same thing as before, two runs. Landscaping going on. Anyways, as you can see there guys, we gained uh, three miles per hour. And I noticed when I was doing the runs that my battery indicator light went down one. So the battery's not 100% full. So I would expect a little bit more speed and maybe another mile or two, an hour out of it. So anyways, there you go. Super 73 Z hack is confirmed. It does work. Happy riding guys, and uh, with the dual battery and the speed hack, it should make your bike a lot more enjoyable. And don't forget about upgrading to those hydraulic brakes.